Once upon a time, the Black Hawk was king of helicopters, ferrying troops, carrying cargo, doing all the gritty heavy lifting. But one day, engineers at Sikorsky thought, hey, what if we remove the cockpit, boot out the pilots, and turn this beast into a flying robot? And boom, the U-Hawk was born. They ripped out the cockpit, crew seats, controls, giving the aircraft 25% more internal cargo room. Then they slapped on clamshell-style nose doors and a ramp for loading even while rotors spin. Talk about multitasking. Now the U-Hawk can carry up to 7,000 pounds internally, or sling 9,000 pounds externally, or a mix, up to 10,000 pounds total. It can haul bigger cargo that wouldn't fit in standard Blackhawks, load-unload from ground vehicles, or launch swarms of drones and missiles from its quiver. And the brain? A matrix autonomy system with fly-by-wire controls. An operator, no pilot, just taps mission goals on a tablet. The U-Hawk flies itself, picks its path, and avoids obstacles. It can self-deploy across 1,600 nautical miles, loiter for 14 hours, refuel internally, or adapt for a wide variety of missions. Now, before you imagine the U-Hawk as some next-gen chopper waiting to be rolled off the factory line, here's the twist. It's actually a regular Black Hawk, the same one that's been flying for decades, but upgraded with a robotic brain. Sikorsky didn't reinvent the wheel. They just made it smarter. They stripped out the pilot controls, added a fly-by-wire system, autonomy suite, and sensors that let it fly, land, and carry out missions without human pilots. So yes, armies can upgrade their existing Black Hawk fleets instead of buying brand new aircraft. That's cheaper, faster, and far more practical. Turning proven helicopters into AI-powered cargo and combat drones. Helicopter robot.